In this video, we are going to discuss how to get cheap Facebook ad clicks. Like any advertising medium, it costs money to place ads on the site. You need those ads to make money though, and without them, you will likely stall and be unable to make the money you want to make. Facebook ads can be expensive, and some people never see a cost per click CPC that is lower than 25 cents. However, it is possible to see ridiculously cheap clicks that will get you traffic and advertising benefits with little money spent. Bootstrapped startup businesses need cheap clicks so that they can get the results that they want. It's important to understand that you can't directly control clicks. Facebook does a lot of the work for you, but it's possible to keep that traffic directed within Facebook. This step-by-step -step guide will help you get the cheapest clicks possible and you will walk away with a little more advertising behind you and a heavier wallet. Step 1. Keep the traffic within Facebook. The point of monetizing a Facebook page is so you keep your traffic within Facebook. When you do this, it means that people are interested in your ads and are staying on the site. This is good news for Facebook, but it can also be great news for you. Your clicks will be much cheaper and you'll get traffic directed to your fan page. When this happens, you are likely to get more likes and attention. Step 2. Broaden your demographic but narrow interests. This part is tricky. You want your ads to be targeted and you want your traffic to be relevant. However, Broadening your demographic while narrowing your interests can result in penny clicks. A broader demographic would simply mean that you increase your age range, location, sex, and gender. Narrowed interests would mean taking your interests down from a few categories to just one category. This method can be manipulated to suit whatever your needs are. You can choose English speakers over a certain age, and then you can choose a set of no more than 100 keywords and interests. Step 3. You need good photos for your ad. The art of having good photos for your ad is incredibly important. A good photo that is tasteful and relevant can make all the difference. Do a little research to see what type of photo works best for your niche. Celebrity photos are always a winner and they can be used for a variety of advertisement purposes. People are more likely to click on celebrity ads. Facebook won't offer you low CPC until you can prove that they can make money from you. That means you need really good ads that make money and that starts with having good photos. Step 4 raise your click-through rate. Your CTR or click-through rate is important for getting low cost per click CPC. When you have a higher percentage of people clicking your ads then you also have lower costs. Why does this work? Because you are increasing traffic and thus revenue so that Facebook can afford to offer you a lower cost for ads. Remember Lower CPC is a result of higher CTR. This is great for you, Facebook, and your fans. Step 5. Analyze often and repeat the process. Analyzing the process and repeating it often is an important part of any marketing campaign. You need to reevaluate and see what works in order to get results you want. Your click-through rate can be increased and your total cost can be decreased much further once you start an advertising campaign with Facebook. Once you've started advertising, you will see demographic information and then you can narrow things down a bit more. Once you trick Facebook, you can essentially get the low CPC that you want the most. Step 6. Beware of Facebook being sneaky. Facebook can be sneaky. 
If you switch to CPM, then be prepared to be hit with a higher CTR and CPC. Facebook notices that they can keep giving you high traffic and CTR without lowering your CPC. This method is sneaky and it can seem like a good idea at first, but it will make you broke. It's not any better than just paying moderate CPC prices in the first place. It's best to work on getting lower penny CPC. Step 7. International clicks are cheap but not always worth it. International clicks are cheap because they are from areas with lower income. These people are less likely to buy anything at all and they can just inflate your total costs in the long run. Not all international clicks are negative though, but you should watch out for what audiences you are targeting. Be sure to set it to all English speakers so that you have a higher chance of those cheap international clicks converting well. Step 8. Use Sponsored Story Ads These are not the same as promoted posts. These are ads that are made from your posts and placed on sidebars. Sponsored story ads are cheap because they are often text-based, but they can bring in a lot of traffic to your page directly. Not only does this little trick provide a very cheap CPC, but you also get viral attention and traffic. These are definite wins for you and your audience feels like it is part of an important community and more valued. Cheap ads aren't always the best, but if you want to save money, you can do so by following the eight steps above. These steps will help you get lower CPC rates and you'll get more traffic that is directed straight to your Facebook page. That's where the magic happens. Our course will contain all the information you need to make your Facebook marketing campaign a successful and fruitful journey for your business. It will help all of your goals be accomplished and reached in no time at all. We hope you learned something from this video and we hope that you will start your campaign to see how beneficial it really is to use Facebook monetization.